Hey guys, um, how's it going? Uh, Keymaster here, and again, something really different and out of my uh, normal pool of videos. Um, I'm gonna be doing a uh, full like playthrough of this game, and you can obviously tell what it is. It's a uh, Super Godzilla for the Super Nintendo, and um, part of the reason why I chose this game is because. I remember playing it as a kid, and like, I had no idea how to play it. I didn't understand anything of it, so I would just like, uh, watch my brother play it. And you know, it, it's it's a really awkward game, in, in the sense of the way it works and where it comes from. But, I think it's a lot of fun, and uh, a lot of people wouldn't agree. But you know, I don't really care about a lot of other people, so um... Right now as you're watching, it's just a brief uh, description of this, just, uh, excuse me. Just a brief description of the story and uh, the way the game works and stuff like that. Um, aliens and they gotta find Godzilla, blah blah blah. But um, yeah, the, the thing that's different about this one, is, though, this video though, is that um, I'm gonna be doing it all in one video, and you're gonna see my my live reaction as I play. This isn't really a edited or um, you know, fixed or whatever. So um, let's get started. Um, I just want to finish the cutscene here. Basically speaking, uh, what these people are trying to do is they're trying to, like, uh, get control over Godzilla, like, um, you know, mind control and have him go fight the other monsters because their technology sucks and they can't fight monsters themselves. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this game's actually, uh, pretty old, um, I, I guess it could be best described as like a weird cross between RPG slash yeah I mean I have no idea the way it works I mean what to call it but you know it somewhat looks like a fighting game but it's far from it if you're expecting something like Street Fighter or you know even a basic brawler that's hardly the case so um, let's just get started this is just a demo Hit an option to uh, Okay, just want to make sure. Alright. So, going to Osaka. Just real basic stuff. Move around the city, collect things, blah blah blah. So, here we have the first, like, main part of the game. And this is, like, the map screen or world map, whatever you want to call it. And pretty much the goal here is, like, you control Godzilla, in a sense, and that blue dot represents him. And, uh, you know, you just sort of change directions when you want to. And the blue squares are, like, health, and the yellow squares are, like, items. And, uh, you can see everything, you know, energy, health, or time, excuse me. Um... Pretty much you're just supposed to guide him and try and get not shot by these tank things that you can see in the map and, you know, it really gives you that, like, sort of, like, cinematic feel of, like, Godzilla trudging through the city. You know, it, it like, it captures the spirit of the movie, I, I think. It captures the spirit of the movie pretty well. But one of the weirder things about the, this game is that, uh, when you crash in a building, Godzilla gets hurt, and that's a little weird to me because... That's what Godzilla's most famous for, is blowing up stuff or destroying things. So it's a little weird that they make it that he loses health. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, common sense, like, you know, trying to give the player a set path. But I don't know. That's like making Mario lose health for getting coins, but that's not really the case. Um, so that purple dot is King Ghidorah, and right now I'm walking towards him to go fight him. And also you notice uh, he moves a lot slower in water. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people can't really stand the patience of this, just, you know, walking around. But, you know, I, I mean, it's cool for a while, and it does get monotonous over a while. I don't know, it's just, uh, it's fun to look at, you know. You see Godzilla from all these different perspectives and whatnot. I, I think it's a lot of fun. So right now I'm just sort of trying to chase down this pink dot. 
getting a little annoying <laughs> trying to chase him down. Enemies around. And these little uh, nuclear power plugs. I really like the amount of detail that they put into the little cinematic screen above there. Um, it doesn't really serve any purpose besides just like eye candy, so you're not just staring at a map screen all day, but I really like it. Alright, so here we go, first battle. And uh, you sort of got this like huge menu box over like what looks like a fighting game. And pretty much he's explained the way the fights work, and it's really awkward. Pretty much you have to walk up to who you're fighting, punch them, step backwards, and select an attack with no showcase. So, okay, well, the monsters get to choose whenever they fight, and whenever they attack the enemy person. As you can see, he's using the little gravity beams on me. And I have, like, a, a health bar there. I lost, like, a bunch of health. Like, I was at 600, now I'm at 492. So pretty much I have to walk up to King Ghidorah, punch him. Uh, wait, okay, hold on, wait. It's kind of, it's kind of hard because they can attack whenever they want to, but you're limited on when you can attack. So, let me try and do this. I'm going to die if I don't. <laughs> okay, so I punched him, and I got to step back and choose an attack, and so I just choose the, I chose the fire breath, and <laughs> it's a really, really, really retarded system. Like, I'm not going to lie, is that it's got to be the weirdest way I've ever seen a fight in a video game. But, I don't know, it's kind of fun, slash, monotonous. See, like, you can pick a random and you saw the tail attack there. They give you a pretty good variety in, in what you can use, and, you know, these clips that I'm watching right now, uh, they, they really remind me of, like, comic book panels, like, you know, panel after panel. It, it really does give you that, like, movie sense. I'm a big fan of it. Okay, I got the body slam attack. I like, you know, it shows all these different, uh, perspectives and clips. It's, it's nice to look at. It really is. And for Super Nintendo, you know, how they're able to get this, you know, great, like, battle feeling type thing. And excuse me for a second. <laughs> Got the head butt there. That's rather comical. But pretty much, this is all it is. Uh going back and forth, trying to just kill your opponent like this. Um, as with all strategic games, it does my uh, numb the mind after a while, but it's just the overall goal of trying to, um, you know, win the game. And one trait about this system is that uh, the further you walk backwards, the more powerful your attacks get. So uh, that's why you saw me, I just got hit there instead of choosing an attack, and wow, <laughs> I keep getting hit by this thing. Um, so like, you just want to like walk up, punch, and then walk back as far as you can before you get hit. But I'm kind of done with trying to get the best attack, I'm just going to hit him as many times as I can. Because I realize I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just over and over, just keep wailing. I was hoping I could get a better attack there, but I guess not. And it looks like we almost got him. This should do it. Oh, why did I finish him off with a better attack, but... Uh, that, that'll do. Oh, never mind, he's still alive. One more, one more. Uh, there we go. Fire breath. <laughs> Count how many times it flashes to black. It really goes to black a lot. <laughs> Chop the head off. Oh, that's pretty graphic for Super Nintendo. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's, that's the first level, um, just to give you a feel for the game. 
Get the fire and bread. Let's see how we did, shall we? This score is pretty high. I got minus 20 for hitting buildings. Not bad. 3,000 points. Or, I'm not sure if that's bad. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, alright, that was, that was the first level. Um, moderately easy. You know what you're doing. I remember having no clue <laughs> what to do as a kid. I doubt any kid really actually knew what to do. You know, didn't even bother to read the crap. <clears throat> Aliens and their little UFO talking about how we control Godzilla. Blah blah blah. Fight monsters. Nothing we're really concerned with, I guess. What's your question? When the aliens will appear? So we come back and, um, basically speaking, we're going to be in this little, uh, mountain area and we're trying to look for monsters. So, back to the map screen again. Um, now what we're going to start seeing more often is, like, this is where the game, I, I guess you could say, becomes more RPG reminiscent. Um, in the sense that now we're going to start having random battles, just like this. And pretty much it's, you know, just like in Pokemon or Final Fantasy, whatever, it's random battles where you have to battle these little UFOs. And they're not terribly hard to defeat. You know, one, one hit usually puts them out. But just like any other RPG, it gets, it, you know, it numbs your brain pretty darn quick. And it starts to go from cool to annoying really quick. So, I just crashed into this rock here. <laughs> and it's really silly to me how he loses his health from crashing into stuff. But, whatever. Anyways, oh, did you see that little orange dot right there? Um, after I finish healing. That little orange dot right there is actually how um, you get rid of the UFO. So, if you kill that orange UFO, then you actually don't have to deal with them for the rest of the game. And I just realized have to do something before you come here. You have to go to the side. You have to, for this, not all the missions, but for this mission in particular, you actually have to uh, walk over to the orange dot and fight it. Not every single one like this. Those cannons can really rack up the damage quick. <laughs> You know, one quick little UFO punch, dead. <laughs> He's got that lip curl. <laughs> Swoosh. Alright, so here we go. Mother UFO. And these things can be a bitch. Um, Basically speaking, they can uh, go high like that, or they can go low where you can't reach them. And it'll just, they're the most annoying thing. So, you really want to take care of them quick. Um, blast them with the fire. One shot doesn't do it though, it usually takes maybe like two or three. And actually, with these things, um, the only thing that can hurt them are your breath, your fire breaths. Uh, Body attacks like the tail or the, the body slam actually won't work on these things. Which, nine times out of ten, you're gonna get the fire breath, but in the in the uh, excuse me, in the chance that you don't get it, you're gonna deal with a missed attack, and it's just a pain. And you know, one more punch or two will put it out. Just got see how annoying these things can be. There we go. Right there. Not getting away from me. 
Um, yeah, that's, I highly don't, I don't really recommend going after these mother ship things, because they just are so annoying, a waste your time, those mini UFOs aren't even really a problem, you know, if you seriously can't deal with those mini UFOs, that's a little disappointing, and I'm actually going to walk over here and get this item real quick, um, you know, they're really easy to deal with, and I, I personally see no real problem with just killing the mini UFOs, to be honest. So now we're walking back to that lake area I was at a little while ago, and um, we're going to go take care of the enemy monster right there, still the purple dot. I'm just talking about how he can't warp anymore. That's why he wasn't here before, because he was warping around and getting out of the way. So in the, in the sense that this monster is a little too much for you to handle, um, there's a couple places where you can heal. I just stepped on one right now. Um, but, you know, th there's a couple places you'll, you'll be able to get health, so don't, you don't really have to worry about dying in this fight. Yes, you can run away from fights, actually, I forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> really, there's no real reason for you to die in this fight, unless you just aren't paying attention. So, yeah, what a big surprise, we're actually fighting ourselves. So, but it's not really another Godzilla obviously. So, you just gotta punch this guy once, and if I can just get... <laughs> Come on now. Damn. Okay, seriously? You just gotta punch him once. Just, just once. There we go. You punch him, you know, he loses all his health, and in all reality, it's actually Mecha Godzilla. One of the most coolest villains ever. So, um, basically with this fight, you cannot use Fire Breath at all with this fight because he'll put up a barrier and he'll reflect it back at you. So, you're stuck with body attacks which are absolute crap. So, this fight can be a little hard, but you know, it just takes a little bit longer. Oh, unless you get the Hyper Fire Breath, I forgot to mention. There's two versions of the Fire Breath, the Hyper version and the Normal version, and you cannot use the Normal version. Um, the Normal version would just get blocked by that barrier, but the Hyper version will rip through it, as you see right now. So, the way you can tell in the little menu is that uh, Godzilla's mouth is, like, more open than usual. That's how you can tell uh, if you got the Hyper or the Normal Fire Breath. So, unless you get straight Hypers, which you usually don't. Um, this fight's gonna take a really long time um, just using, you know, body attacks all day. Um, right from the start, he has more health than you. So, this can be a bit of a problem. So, the best strategy, like I did with King Ghidorah, is to just, since you're not even allowed to use stronger attacks, just punch, back up, punch, back up, just don't give him a chance to breathe like I did, and now I'm going to get hit with laser beams. Yeah, uh, especially with this guy, you don't want to let him breathe, because then it's going to be hard to get next to him again. I got lucky that time. Don't take a chance with those mystery hits, because if you randomly pull out a fire breath, that's going to suck ass for you. Uh, when he reflects it back at you, it does a crap ton of damage. Um, you know, he does a little shadow attack stuff, and it, it really wears you down quick. Um, that's why getting close to this guy is so freaking hard. You get close, you know, you lose. And hold on, um, this is why we picked up items earlier. Ah, crap, how do you do this? Nope. Ah, shoot. There you go. You pressed L. <laughs> My bad. 
Yeah, that's why we were collecting items earlier. Um, little items like that will really save you in these fights. And wow, it's already going to waste. I'm already lost all my health, and oh my god, you can't be serious. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Yeah, but if it really comes down to this, just get out of the fight. Just leave. There's nothing that says you can't leave. So I'm just gonna escape because he's gonna kill me. Yeah, this fight's pretty hard. That's why they give you so much stuff. Yeah, so I'm just gonna walk up to these little nuclear power plants to heal myself. Um, like I said, uh, getting next to him is the hard part, but once you sort of got him in that rhythm of just punch back up, punch back up, you know, it's pretty easy to, you know, kill him. Just that getting in that rhythm is hard. So these little nuclear things should help us out. It doesn't give us a terrible amount of help. A little bit past the halfway mark, but you know. Alrighty then. So we're just gonna walk back up and take care of this guy. Right where we left off. Just again. I'm tired of this crap. Um, the way you can decide what tax, attacks you're going to get is those those bars in the middle. Um, the blue one decides, uh, the blue one decides, um, your, I guess, like, spirit meter, as they call it. The higher it is, the better attacks you're going to get. So, and vice versa for the other monsters. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure your spirit bar is as high as possible. That way you can get the best attacks. Um, if it's high enough, you will get the hyper fire breath. And if you can sort of stay in the rhythm, you can keep getting hyper after hyper after hyper. Alright, so once again, we've cornered him and we've got him in the rhythm. Just gotta keep wailing on him. Just do not let up. <laughs> keep going. First attack you see. I tell you, these, uh, these fights are no joke, um, you really gotta pay attention, body slam. I don't think this one does as much damage, but, you know, it's better than nothing. I actually didn't think that did a little bit more. Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. The enemy monsters can cheat and randomly get attacks out of nowhere which is a load of crap, but gotta deal with it. Nope. There you go. I think maybe three or three or four more attacks and he should be out. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope. Not gonna take a risk with that fire breath, because if it reflects back at us, um, we almost will certainly die from it. And one more. Nope. And there you go. You're out of here. Yeah, do not take a chance at all with the uh, fire breath, because that thing reflects back at you. It is over. The so level two. A huge step in difficulty from level one, uh, limiting what attacks you can use and whatnot. Let's take a look at our score, shall we? I wonder where you get bonus points from. So, a lot better than we did in stage one, even though it was that much harder. Doing pretty good for ourselves, aren't we? And a credit is just an extra life. But I doubt I'll die in this run. Possibly. Actually, the next level is really hard. So basically, they talk about King Ghidorah and his cells. But then, out of nowhere, oh no! The professor is kidnapped. So it's gonna be our job to save him. And basically, they just panic and they talk about how that he's being kept captive at a lake. And that, uh... 
he's actually being held in a nuclear power plant. So you have to go around and look for him. And uh, there's dummies. So if we get one of the dummy power plants, then um, we're actually going to get uh, hurt massively. It won't kill us. It won't be an instant game over. But let me tell you, uh, the uh, looking for this professor dude is pretty hard um, because you have to go through electric wire cables. And uh, if you get hit by those things, it does a lot of damage. So the only way to take them out is to just run into one of the uh, control towers. Those are the gray dots on the screen. Um, that's the only really way to get rid of the wires. The, the blue ones represent the wires. And I just walked into a rock right now. I'm actually just going to walk through all these rocks just to get to the... Just get to that orange dot, which is the uh, one of the dummies slash where the professor is being held. And I believe somewhere on the map there's a uh, there's a uh, like chart that tells you how to get to the real one. But I don't really feel like looking for that, so I'm just gonna get the first one I see and hope it's the right one. <laughs> so let's check it out, shall we? And nope, it was a thing. So, that was kind of a waste, but, you know, that's what you gotta go through. More UFOs. One hit. Dead. No problem at all. So we're just gonna oh wrong way. Just gonna refill our health here. Uh, you know, you didn't lose a lot of health from running into those rocks, but you know it's not really good to stay at lower health. Yeah, so off to the next uh, power plant. I honestly can't remember which one it is. Um, again, I just got hit. Me being the retard I am. Uh, uh, where am I going? Okay. Um, yeah, I know there is a little map around here that shows you which one's the real one, but you know, I, I honestly, uh, cause you're timed actually. I don't know if you can see it, but the lower left number that's actually how much time you have, and uh. This fight, the monster fight, is actually really hard in this round. So I'd rather not waste any time uh, trying to look for a map than look for a place. Like, that's just no. <laughs> not having that. Uh, another UFO. As I said, these things get annoying really quick. <laughs> Blast. getting a little tired of seeing these things all the time. Is this it? Nope. Guess not. More takes. Those things drain your health actually pretty quick. So just got an invincible power up which is nice. Now we can run through those wires without being hit. So I'm just going to try and take out as many of those things as I can. Actually won't be hurting these battles either. So I don't have to worry about those pesky UFOs hitting you. Swoosh. Kazam. Shall we? No health lost. I'm actually gonna run into the other one just to clear out as many of them as I can while I have this invincibility.
yeah, really take advantage of the power-ups that you find. Um, they're really helpful, and, you know, they, they really come in handy. Let's check if this is the real one. Right after an alien fight. Yeah, um, technically speaking, you can run away from these things. Which is quicker than watching this cutscene over and over, but the problem with that is the more you run away, the more often they come. And, you know, it, that sort of defeats the purpose. So I'd rather not and just kill them and get it over with. So, is this the real thing? No, it's not. I'm having the worst luck today. I honestly cannot remember which one is the real one. I'm just gonna smash into these rocks to uh, get to the water over there. <laughs> this is putting dents in our score, but that's probably the last thing I care about is score. So I'm gonna go to this little uh, water right here. Um, the darker water means that it's deeper and it actually takes Godzilla a longer time to go through that water. But yeah, that, that little yellow square in the middle of the water is actually a warp point. And I believe it takes you near the, uh, what's it called? Oh, no, it's not a warp point. My bad. Um, I know there's a warp point somewhere around this map. It's been years since I played this game. But, um, I know there's a warp point somewhere around here that takes you close to where the real, uh, bases or power plant, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this water takes a really long time to go through. Here we go. Oh, see, there you go. There's the map. <laughs> Um, and I believe it's down there. So I'm just gonna go over there and I'm starting to regret not taking out that uh, mother ship because <laughs> watching this is getting a little annoying. Oh god, this takes a long time. At least I one shot kills. Smashing into the tower doesn't make you lose a lot of damage, but actually running through the electrical field drains your health quick, real quick. Quite annoying to go through. Go through. So here we go, I think this is the, uh, no it's not, wow, curse my luck today. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just gonna have to smash through these wires to get through. Um, I think he's more, like, up in the map, like, north, so... Cleared out a lot of them. Let's step on this tank. As you can see, I'm starting to lose health pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting these little wires to take out that much of my health. So, before I go any further, I'm just gonna. Well, after this alien fight. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go heal up before I step on any more of those trap things. And I hope that wasn't a body attack. Okay, thank goodness. Shot at by a tank that cannot see. Okay, I was really hoping I wasn't going to step on a wire. <laughs> So, I'm going to have to step on all these wires. And right now, I'm actually going to pause the recording real quick, so excuse me for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, had to go do something real quick. Anyways, um... So, yeah. I believe the orange dot I'm walking up to right now is the, uh, the real... Uh, what's it called? The real nuclear plant. And, uh, if it is the real one, it actually heals you a lot more than the normal ones. And, wow, <laughs> these alien fights are really good, I'm a nerd. And here we go, we got it. So he just talks about cells, and he also talks about, um... Actually, yeah, he just talks about, uh... Godzilla and King Ghidorah's cells, and things like that. And he also, uh, they talk about the new monster, Biolante, which is in the middle of the lake. And, um... Yeah, this is this is the monster for this level, and boy oh boy, uh, Biolante is a hard monster to defeat. I mean, holy crap, this thing is hard to kill. Um, all right, uh, yeah, it, it's like a big like plant monster type thing. Excuse uh, the meowing; it's my cat. Yeah, uh, the great thing about this fight, though, is that, uh, Biolante can only be in water. So, uh, if you go on the land, uh, if you have to run away and go in, uh, <laughs> I cannot talk, excuse me, um, if you need to go on land and run away, um, you know, she can't follow you, so you don't have to worry about the monster chasing you down and things like that. But, boy, is that thing hard. Again, that map, which was helpful. I should have gone there in the first place. Uh, okay, crash into more rocks. Oh my goodness, no. Here we go. And I'm not going to go in that blue water because it takes too long to get through that. And here we go. Um, yeah, this this fight's pretty pretty hard. Um, about as hard as the last one, if not a little bit more. So the thing is, um, before you can actually punch Biolante, you actually have to punch her little like tentacle things. And you can't really use an attack on these things. You just sort of have to punch them, just beat the crap out of them. Yeah, see, those things are going to let you punch my Alante. 
And yeah, Biolante uh, only actually has two attacks. Uh, that one right there that you just saw. And the Acid Staff. And holy crap, that Acid Staff does a lot of damage. Um, I mean, like maybe three of those things, or maybe five, will put you out right away. So, you know, it's highly unlikely you can take out Violante in one, uh, like, you'll probably have to run away and then come back, because she's got a lot of health, and you can only use, uh, you can only use your tail and fire breath against her. You can't use the body attack, because if you use the body slam, she'll come back at you. It'll, it's like, it's like reflecting, which I think is kind of weird. So just like every other monster, I sort of got the strategy of hit and run. Just back up and use the first attack that I get. And, nope. There we go, fire breath. Um, yeah. I don't know why, but for some reason, you just cannot use a body slam on this uh, thing. It'll come back at you and uh, hit you really hard. So I already backed up quite a bit, and that's going to give her a little bit of room to hit me with. Okay, thank goodness. Oh my god! <laughs> Please hope it wasn't the body attack. Yes, it's the body attack, and I'm going to get hit. Crap. Watch. Douche. And I just lost a lot of health for that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, when Violante gets you into the corner like that, um, it, it can be pretty devastating because you have no room to back up. And even when you hit, oh shoot, <laughs> uh, even when you hit her, it barely uh, pushes her back like any. And oh god, that acid sap. And I'm just gonna hit her one more time and get out of here because. Okay. Um, actually, no, I'm going to use that little item I picked up earlier. Excuse me. But, as you can see, that acid sap did massive, massive, massive damage. Uh, excuse me for a second. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, my cat is stupid. Yeah, so... I don't know what I was thinking there. I backed up too much, but... Your tail attacks barely do anything against this monster, and if that's all you're planning on using, you know, good luck. <laughs> I highly recommend the fire breath, but, you know, risking backing up that much is too much, and wow, all I'm getting is body attack. Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this. I was only getting body attacks. And now I'm going to lose a crap load of health. Goodness, so much damage. Come on, get over here. I think I'm just going to use that. Use that health just to be sure. Better safe than sorry, right? Wow. I cannot believe how much that takes away. Okay. Come on, fire breath. Nope. <laughs> I hope this is fire breath. Okay, just tail attack. Alright, better than nothing. But I'm sick and tired of using these tail attacks because they don't do anything. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but you, you literally can't be pushed into the corner or else you're going to be stuck forever. And did that kill me? Yes, it did. Wow. I was not planning on dying. <laughs> yeah, but that just goes to show how freaking hard this fight is. That's kind of a cool screen right there. There we go. So we're at full health, thank god. And, come on, get over here. Wow. There we go. Hyper fire breath, that's what I'm talking about. So, 
You better change your pace on those tail attacks. I guess I should have stopped being so impatient and just went with what attacks worked. But, you know. Ah, come on. There we go, again. Yeah, see, if you can keep that blue bar high enough, um, you can just go hyper after hyper. I just thought, when you get pushed into a corner, man, it is horrible. And I should have seen that coming. Oh, wow, when you get pushed, okay. So she's gonna go underwater for a second. And come back up. Nope. Bar was all the way. Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's trying to do right there. If you just stay close to the right side of the screen, she doesn't know we're gonna be for her to pop up, so you just sort of get like a free hit whenever she does that. And I backed up way too much with that attack, and I really hope I do not get hit. Because it's gonna suck. A lot. So they're weighing it down pretty quick. You know, just sort of staying in this good rhythm of attacks. And, you know, trying really hard not to get hit by this acid sack. Because it's like, oh my goodness, I can't stand that. Nope. And sometimes you get lucky and get a hyper fire breath, even if you're, the bar is low. Which is nice, you know. I guess it's sort of like a, a luck of the draw type thing. Alright. Doing really good. She can't attack while she's underwater, so thank goodness, right? Walking back and forth it raises your bar a lot, so... You know, I just wanted to raise the bar before it comes out. That way I can get a hyper. So whenever you have like a little bit of downtime like that, just walking back and forth you know, will bring your, bring your bar up. Let you get better attacks. Nope. Nah. Not gonna risk getting hit. I don't know why the game acts retarded sometimes. I won't give you attack until you've backed up like the entire screen. Walk back and forth. Get some energy. There we go. Oh crap. Was not expecting that. <laughs> But I think I think this attack would do it. Put her out. So yeah, thank goodness for extra lives, right? Because oh shoot, I think if I just punch her, she'll. Anyway, thank goodness for extra lives, right? Um, you know, if we had to start the mission all over again, that would have sucked a lot. Unlike most Super Nintendo games, uh, this one's really nice and generously gives out extra lives. And when you die, you get to continue right where you left off. So that's good, I guess. And there we go. He's done. So definitely a harder level. Um, the difficulty only steps up in this game. I mean, like. <laughs> you know, it, it picks up really, really quick. So, okay, our score was fairly good. We lost 100 points. But, you know, not too shabby. Did really well. So, he tells us about um, how Godzilla and King Ghidorah's cells can be combined. And basically what that means is we're going to get an upgrade. Instead of 600 health, we're going to be able to hold 700 health, or 900, I actually don't remember. So, yay for us, right? We can, uh, we have more health now. So, now our next boss that we have to fight is, um, Batra, and, oh my god, 
this monster is so darn annoying. Um, so, um, with this, you know, I guess we're back in the city again. I guess you could say it's like sunset now or something. But that red thing is going to really help us. Basically what it does is um, it makes us feel that your blue bar stays up like all the time. That's going to come in handy because with Batra, the thing about fighting her is that your health, like, how do we explain it? Um, not your health. The only attack that you can use against Batro is the uh, Hyper Fire Breath. Like, no other attack will work with Batro. And that is annoying. I mean, your, your, uh, your bar, your Fighting Spirit bar, has to be constantly up. And literally no other attack will work. Which is annoying as crap. So, that's why around the map they scattered those, uh, fighting spirit booster thingies. More UFOs. I like this music. <laughs> uh, but I believe there's a couple more around here. But one little fighting spirit thing should do you. Um, as I said before, you can just sort of walk back and forth, but that can risk you being attacked. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Wow, why did I walk backwards? Um, that is actually really close. Uh, just sort of across from where I am right now. Uh, thank goodness, I can't stand being in that water, it moves too slow. Now we're in the deep, deep, deep water. Which, oh my god, we're moving slow. <laughs> wow, I didn't even move one square, and we're fighting. I believe that yellow thing is a warp point. I think. No. Ah, uh, what were they thinking? There we go, a warp point. And wow, that took me backwards. What a retard. Uh, I actually know what we're supposed to use that warp point for. Um, uh, now I'm gonna have to work like double just to get where I was. So stupid. Ah, man. I really wish we moved faster. Or better yet, I don't really mind the slow moving, it's just that I really can't stand finding these UFOs. They get in the way of everything. Kaplow. <laughs> it doesn't really look like fire anymore, so much as like, uh, like a laser beam or something like that. Oh my god, this seriously <laughs> starting to get on my nerves. Up 
Wow. I actually don't remember where the mother UFO is in this level. Um, I think she's more like back where we started. I can't remember, but you know, doesn't really matter, I guess. Stay out of that super deep water. <laughs> that makes you move extra slow. Wow, that is gonna be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Not even moving the square and fighting. Almost there. <laughs> uh, almost there. Just gotta trudge through like five more squares of water. fighting spirit thing. So, just in case, and why did I walk into this building? Not a retard. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, come on now, I just wanna go fight. That bridge scenery is pretty nice. I, I'm really impressed with the amount of uh, work they put into the graphics of this game. They work the hard, you know, the monster sprites, and the battle animations, and the backgrounds, the shading, the lighting, how it's nighttime right now, and I think it's pretty well done. You know, most like uh, low budget uh, Super Nintendo games don't really put that much effort into them. Okay, here we go, Batra. This fast little fucker. Um, this thing moves really fast. So, I'm gonna try and... Okay, here we go. Hyper. No hyper. So, it's pretty silly of me. I should have just uh, pulled out the fighting spirit right from the start. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, here we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. A little bit higher. There we go, hyper. Apparently, uh, all your other attacks are too slow to hit Batra. Batra actually has pretty low health. You know, you do a lot of damage when you hit him. It's just that the matter of getting your fighting spirit this high is really hard. Even if she's off screen, um, you can still hit Batra. Um, it doesn't matter if she's on screen or not. Yeah, so killing her pretty quick. Every attack does about 100 damage, right around that marker. Come on now. There we go. Good dude. Almost got him. Oh no, we're gonna get rammed. Or, no. Shot with laser beam. I've had about enough of laser beams. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, almost got it. Nope. Nope. Come on now. There we go. Almost. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to use that other fighting spirit, because we actually, we actually might need it later on.
One more attack. Just one more. And got it. Dead. We're not going anywhere. Down into the ocean with you. Yeah, so the thing is, um, there's actually another... There's actually another Batra, which is retarded. I hate these things. So, um, you actually have to go kill it. And uh, the thing is, you have two choices. You can either take the road, which is what I'm going to do, or you can take the, uh, the water, which I don't know why anyone would want to do that. Um, if you're quick enough, you can actually get to the Batra before it turns into a, uh, because right now it's a larvae, or a cocoon, whatever, um, so if you're actually quick enough, you can kill it before it hatches, and I think I'm not going to make it in time, I'm not sure, I hope, because I really don't want to have to find another one of those things. Okay, done with this. But yeah, if you don't um, make it in time, it's exactly like the last fight, except I believe that this newborn, oh, here we go, stops time. That actually comes in handy. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I believe if you do not get to it before it hatches, uh, it has less health than a normal Batra. So, that makes things easier, but again, you really don't want to have to deal with those stupid moths. Oh, goodness. Oh, excuse me. Those UFOs are a pain. I'm getting there. And to heal up first though, because I lost quite a bit of health. I can't remember if he said 1A or 3A. Uh, whatever. Yeah, he said 3A. <laughs> uh, maybe you're target again. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. Even with that stop time thing. I believe it's almost up. Almost there. Got him. And did I make it? Yes, I did. You know, I have to punch the thing. Just automatic fire breath and it dies. So, that was <laughs> another hard round, um, quicker than the last one, but, um, nonetheless still frustrating. And wow, our score keeps getting higher and higher each time. <laughs> no bonus points. <laughs>
or barely any. And I got another credit. Uh, it's every 10,000 points. So. Or is it? <laughs> I don't think I really care. So basically, um, it's another King Ghidorah, and this time it's a Mecha King Ghidorah, and uh, he has like a robot. And, you know, if you've seen any Godzilla movie before, you know it's like, King Ghidorah. Is. Anyways, um, they're basically telling me that I have the chance to become Super Godzilla, and pretty much that's what the game is named after. And um, you can choose to become Super Godzilla or not. I'm not going to because I personally don't think it's really necessary. Um, but Mecha King Ghidorah is hard. Uh, that's no lie. He is really, really hard to defeat. So you have the option of looking for the little super capsule that let you become stronger. But the thing about this mission is um, right now, currently, King Ghidorah is destroying the city. And if you let him destroy too much of the city, then uh, you won't be able to, uh, you lose the mission right away. So pretty much, you sort of have to like, hurry up and get to him. And you can make it in time to get the super capsules and go kill Mecha King Ghidorah. But, you know, I'd rather not even waste any time and just go straight to him. Yeah, you're not supposed to be destroying anything because that's like the whole point. Is uh, nothing's supposed to get destroyed. And there are a lot of tanks here. Surprised at how quickly they can drain your health. There we go. I know I'm not supposed to crash through buildings, but I'm really tempted to because I don't really feel like going around. I suppose that's helpful. Oh no, Tokyo is being destroyed. I'm actually about to contribute to the destruction right now, but it's better than walking all the way around. I forgot what the limit is. I, don't, I think it's like 50% destruction, and then the mission ends. I honestly don't remember. Items real quick. I can eat a lot of items from Mecha King Ghidorah. Um, he's really hard to beat. Uh, he has lots of lots of attacks that do a lot of damage. <laughs> no surprise. I wonder if the uh, destroying these buildings uh, go towards the destruction count. I think they do. Crash. Wow, how am I going to make it over there? I think this is 
literally the only way to get to Mecha King Ghidorah, which is a little weird, I mean, you know, you're not supposed to destroy anything, but destroying things is the only way to get to it. I think that yellow thing on the left side was a warp wood, but I'm not sure. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Uh, only three more buildings to destroy. I wonder how they expected me to get all the way over there. fight can be pretty hard. Um, basically speaking, um, he can hit us really, really quick. I mean, you saw how fast that guy's spirit bar went up? I mean, holy crap. <laughs> There's barely any time to attack. So pretty much the deal with this fight is you want to hit him as quick and as hard as possible. So, oh my god. <laughs> Wow, I'm literally getting like no chance to breathe. Just goes to show how hard this fight really is. And he pushes you back really far. And, oh my god, this is starting to make me mad. He backs up and stuff. And when you get close to him. Come on. Nope. Wasn't gonna have that. You wanna run into him. Come on. There we go. Got him in the loop. The good old fashioned uh, hit and run. Oh, no, you got me. Besides the triple beams, he also has this uh, like electric attack that does a lot of damage. I kind of want to keep away from that. Wait till his bar goes down. That's when you move in. The higher his bar is, the more likely he is to attack. Come on, there we go. You're not going anywhere. A lot of this fights like a sort of like a waiting game. You sort of have to wait for his bar to go down, and then that's when you go in to get yours. Yeah, you see how fast it can go up. As a result, though, you don't get to pull off very powerful attacks. But, you know, better to stay patient, right? And after he gets hit, you ask me you want to run in. Wow, that almost did like a hundred. 
okay, here we go. I probably shouldn't have made that gap so big. But, whatever. Come on. Crap. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die for this, from this. Me being so careless and whatnot. No, not exactly, but I'm gonna heal up. I could take any more chances. Oh man, it's just a matter of waiting it out. You gotta be patient with this one. And there's only one beam. Oh boy. Sometimes you can just let them run into you. <laughs> That always works, too. In the corner, go get him. No. Wow, see? Stupid stuff like that, where no attack appears. We're getting them. We're getting them. Shoot, it's like every time you attack, he goes right after you. Closing the gap is always the hardest part. I tell you, you can't even walk back like five steps and it still counts right on you. Nope. I tell you. <laughs> These guys fighting me are like on meth, they can't calm down. <laughs> so sporadic and out of control. Oh, standing still wasn't gonna help though. I really hope I didn't die after this. Oh, uh, just barely. It's a good thing I still have like two or three more health. One more health. That green one actually picks up your defense. And wow, that fully restored me. Thank goodness, right? I'm definitely gonna win now. Come on, get over here. Can't believe that though. How quick his fighting meter can go up.
One more attack should do it. And never mind. Alright, he's out of here. Dead. Dead into the ground. That was a hard fight. Hmm. That's the most buildings we've destroyed in one round. Yeah. Two credits. But. Uh, here comes this huge. Apple, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, he's talking about this new monster, Bangin. And pretty much that little circle, you know, wipe out the entire city. Just like in one shot. Plowy. Like a meteor shower. And basically, he's talking about how uh, there's nothing we can do, blah, 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 blah. But nope. Actually, uh, to fight this guy, we're actually going to have to turn the Super Gondola. And uh, let me tell you, um, if you fight Bagan while you're normal Godzilla, there is a zero, negative 5,000% chance of winning. <laughs> Um, you cannot win when you're a normal Godzilla. I mean, he can kill you literally like in a second. So, like, like the professor dude said, if you do happen to come across him, get out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm gonna collect some health here before I go do that stuff. Okay, I just used this crap. I kind of like this red atmosphere everything has. I think it's a nice change of pace, you know, to see some different colors. That kind of stuff. So basically we're sort of like retracing our steps. And where we have to go is actually that orange dot, so that's where we're headed. That's all there is to it. I could crash through all those buildings, but that would just take longer than going around. Could you? Oh no, I didn't need for that. I guess no building crashing noise. <laughs> Did not mean for that either. Oh wait, crap, is that where we're supposed to go? I can't remember. I'm not sure if that orange dot is exactly where we're supposed to be going. I think. It's the only, like, thing that stands out, so... There we go. So now it's time to power up. Super Saiyan Godzilla. <laughs> uh, seizure time. <laughs> yeah. Um, if any of you have watched the Godzilla movie before, uh, 
or any of you guys have ever watched uh, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, you'll, you know, right away notice Super Godzilla looks a lot like Space Godzilla. Uh, but actually what that means is, um, Space Godzilla was actually based off of this design. So, for any of you Japanese monster nerds out there, you just learned a new fun fact. <laughs> so, basically when I did Super Godzilla, you get this thing called Super Punch, and it pretty much kills the crap in one hit, and you look badass now. And also, um, you get like a couple new attacks, and, uh, yeah, my punch just killed the UFO. Um, not only that, but you can crush into buildings without getting hit. So that's good. I'm just gonna walk over here and fight this monster. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, th that ball actually transforms into a monster. Um, this is Bangin, dude. He's, he's really hard. Um, you know, his, his attacks do, like, super damage. Like, holy crap. But the basic strategy here is to super punch him and back up and throw your best attacks at him. Uh, your main goal is you want to super punch him because I build your spirit meter. So, just one super punch to use the first attack you get. Explodes after I body slam him. Go. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. Watch this guy's attacks do so much damage. But yeah, that was like a little more than a hundred. Also, that super punch gives you room to breathe so he's not right on you. And I'm really hoping for a better attack than this. I know I've got a lot better attacks. Come on now. This is ridiculous. There we go. He got this like an uh, energy beam out of that comes out of his tail. Skadoosh. Wow, <laughs> I seriously can't get an attack in. It's probably because of that super punch. Shine spark. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I started getting an idea of how hard this battle actually is. I mean, <laughs> I even thought Mecha King Ghidorah didn't let you breathe. This is outright despicable. And I'm going to use my uh, health and my defense right now. There we go. Randomizer. I think we're going to get to use a fire breath now. No, just the energy ball again. Which, regardless, it's a decent attack, I guess. I want to be able to show off, showcase some of the better attacks that Super Godzilla has. Wow, come on. There we go, the fire breath. Now uh, the fire breath is red, which is pretty cool. Kazam. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Come on now, how you gonna stop me in the middle of my attack? 
Law. Pretty evenly matched. Losing health at about the same rate. Both of our attacks actually do around the same amount of damage. Wow, what was that? <laughs> wow, he literally just pushed me right into the corner. Fangen's uh, spirit meter is pretty sporadic and unpredictable. Oh, come on. I need, uh, he's probably gonna kill me if he gets like two more attacks in. There we go, got an attack in before he could. Explosion body slam. Wow, seriously? <laughs> that has got to be the stupidest thing ever. Stopping me in the middle of my attack. Okay, I'm going to get out of here because... Or no, I can probably take one more hit. Yeah, okay, I'm out of here. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty hard to take that guy out. Um, you know, he's, he's no joke at all. And these things die like with one hit. Screw it, just walk into him, right? <laughs> Anyways. I believe there's gotta be some health capsules around here. That might come handy. Oh no, I really don't want to fight you again. Buildings do not hurt anymore. There we go, that's gonna come in handy. Let me use the better attacks. Nope. I think I need to get like three of these things before I can go fight Fangin again. Or maybe not. <laughs> this one's healing me quite a bit. Wow. That thing is almost like a full restore. Lamb. 
All right, here we go. Back to go fight this thing and <laughs> Nope. Yeah, I can basically just ram those UFOs now. They mean nothing. Okay, there is this guy. Come here. Alright, already bullying me for the start. I'm gonna use that little fighting spirit item I got because I need to get some better attacks out. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, man. I hate this guy. Can't be serious. Just lost my attack. Okay, there we go. I tell you, he moves so slow, it's hard to back up and get an attack out. Almost got him. One or two more attacks should put him down. Come on. He had a little Dragon Ball Z pose there. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. His little Hadouken he's got here. <laughs> this is like a super move. Hadouken! Kamehameha! <laughs> and there we go, you're dead. Dead, die in the ground. Kill you to death. Oh no, he can't be defeated. That's a pretty cool shot right there. I like that. You're not going anywhere, son. Not bad. That was definitely the hardest round of the game. But I managed to get through it. Surprisingly, this wasn't our best round, which is what I was expecting. We actually did better in the last round, but... Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. So now it's power down time. I guess we couldn't stay Super Godzilla forever, right? Now we get that happy, cheery music. Yeah, so that was a that was a pretty good uh pretty pretty all right game I guess you know odd little RPG strategist thing but you know um the verdict it's an all right game um you know it's definitely not for everyone and 
personally, I'm not really sure why I'm playing 20-year-old games, but that's besides the point. Um, you know, uh, this, this game was mildly fun. Uh, actually, it was really fun as a kid, but, um, you know, it's still mildly enjoyable now. Uh, the parts with the UFOs are annoying and the cheapness of the monsters, but, you know, um, kind of wish I could have played as other monsters or maybe had some sort of, like, two-player feature or something like that, but I can't really complain, you know, it's a Super Nintendo game, no real point in getting mad at it. But, um, yeah, that's it for now, uh, thanks for watching, um, this is my little, uh, speed run, or playthrough, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, of, uh, Super Godzilla for the Super Nintendo, and, uh, hope you like it, and, um, if you want to see more, um, subscribe, rate, like, give think game suggestions, whatever, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, this is Q Master, and, uh, I'll see you guys later.